Practice A is section 1.4. We're going to look at numbers 21 and 22. They're exactly the same as 18, 19, and 20, except now they use expressions instead of constant numbers. So this concept right here is kind of what you're looking for. You have two little angles that make a big angle. So I'll write it out. Measure of angle ADB plus measure of angle BDC equals the measure of angle ADC. Little plus little equals big. And then just fill in the things that you know. Angle ADB has a measure of 7x. Angle BDC has a measure of 11x plus 9. The entire angle, the big angle, is 135 degrees. So now we've transitioned from geometry, that's your angle addition postulate, into algebra. Just combine your like terms on the left side. You get 18x plus 9 equals 135. Take away 9 from both sides. So 18x would equal 126. Okay, I'm going to need some help for that one. I'm just going to divide by 18. That gives you 7. So that's what x is. I'll just kind of sneak it up here because I'm out of room. x is 7. Now, they wanted you to find measure of angle BDC. So if you just stop here, you're wrong. The answer isn't 7. x is 7. But what's the measure of angle BDC? It's 11 times 7 plus 9, which would be 86. Now, that's all they ask you to find, but you're really better off plugging x in over here as well, so you can double check to see if you're right. You have a 49 degree angle and an 86 degree angle. How do you know that you're right? It adds up to the same 135. Okay, 22, maybe pause the video, try this one on your own if you haven't. Your two little angles together need to give you the big angle, which they tell you is 78 degrees. Combine your like terms. We're going to subtract 6 from both sides. And then we'll divide by 12. X is 6, but make sure you answer the question. What's the measure of angle P, R, Q? That's this little one right here. 4 times 6 is 24, minus 1 is 23. 8 times 6 gives you 48, plus 7 gives you 55. How do you know you're right? Your two little ones add up to give you the big one.